Hello, this week from the Pop-Up Creative Cafe, we are going to make a willow and tissue paper lantern. Okay. In your bag that you have picked up from the cafe, you will find a bunch of willow, six of those. You will have a work mat, some two pieces of tissue paper, a baseboard, a glue pot with a piece of masking, masking tape on, a bottle of PVA glue, a knitting needle, a glue brush and a candle. First thing to do is to take your tissue paper and to tear it up into quite big pieces. Now you don't have to worry about this. It's about taking pieces like this. It would be good for you to have a bowl or a dish that you could put them in to keep them safe, especially if you're doing that outside. And tear them up until you have a nice pile of tissue paper. The next thing you need to do, because this is quite a gluey project, is to cover your table with newspaper and to wear either an apron or um, some old clothes that it doesn't matter if you get a bit of glue on them. So, we are going to take our base and we are going to get a pen or a pencil and our sticks. So what I want you to do first is to mark out on here where your sticks are going to go. So we have got six. We need to have a door so that you can get to the candle. So if we leave a gap here and draw a little mark here, a little mark there, and then we've got that, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Then we take our knitting needle and we just push through our knitting needle into the cardboard. And make sure your fingers are not in the way. It's not a hugely sharp knitting needle will allow us to put the willow in. Okay. Then undo your willow sticks. Please be careful with these. They're not that strong. They could go in your eye. They could hurt yourself or somebody else. So just be careful with them. And then what we're going to do is push the sticks into those holes, like so. So watch your eyes as you go round, and it would be really good to have help with a grown-up for this bit. There we are. Now it looks a bit of a mad mess at the moment, doesn't it? So what we need to do is to turn it into our little cute teepee and we're going to use the little bit of cheeky masking tape on, the, on your glue dish and we're going to hold it and take our masking tape and just wrap it around. Looks a bit boring. Let's make it a little bit funky. So we're going to carefully pull out our sticks. They're all hold, held together now, so that's brilliant. Put those to one side. Make sure you've got your apron on, because this is the sticky bit. So we've got our tissue paper. We've got a glue pot. We've got a glue brush and some glue. We need to 
pour a small amount of glue into your pot. Again, this is not to be eaten, not to be drunk. Okay, far nicer things to eat. And I'm just gonna get some water. Now this glue is quite thick. So to make it a little bit easier, we are going to just pour a tiny bit of water in. And this will just make it easier to paint onto the tissue paper. And again, carefully mix. If you go in really quick, it will go everywhere, okay? And we're gonna start with our base and we are going to paint half of your card with the runny glue. is dry then take your knitting needle and just carefully from the back of your baseboard just go back through and just remake those holes which will be easier for us to put our willow sticks in on your um, base mat get your um, tissue paper Carefully paint all over it and then peel it off and then start to wrap it around and stick it on your willow sticks. And again, a bit of glue. around and just with your brush with glue just brush back over it by putting a layer of glue over the top of this when it dries it's going to dry really hard so it's quite strong and that's because there's glue on the inside and the outside and keep going until it's all covered TP, then we just need to do a bit of quality control on it. So I've got lots of little bits of tissue paper sticking out inside, which I don't want. So I'm going to go back in there with a bit of glue on my glue stick and just glue them down. Because when we light those candles, we really don't want them to catch light. Have a look at your handout and there's information about how to be careful with using candles. So you don't want to burn yourself or set fire to anything in your house, especially your lovely cats or your curtains. If there's any little holes, don't worry. Go back over with a bit of tissue paper and just stick that down. And then what we will do is leave that to dry overnight and then the following day you'll be able to put your candle in there and light it and enjoy using it during the holiday.